Yeah, Yo, what's going on, guys? In the first, I'm back with some uh, dark wood. I'd refilled my generator with one with the rest of the tank I had. I want to be going here. I want to go this way. I want to go to the junkyard. I never managed junk because I never treasure. In this case. Might find some bits and bats what I need. I like the, the enemies around here are cool. Just I don't like the chompers. The chompers are annoying. They're too they're fast. I thought we wouldn't want to deal with like multiple of them. Where's the entrance to your junkyard? Dig. I'm going to use a bit of my shovel durability. Oh, worth. Doctor. Oh, what is happening to you, Doctor? Sorry, I would have read that about I was drinking. Did one go as a current of it? There's a current of electricity, I think electricity. Settling in his arms while they're throwing pieces of mud everywhere around him and it flows underground from tree to tree. The doctor suddenly frees the stern and with his arms in midair and, and it powers everything it connects it yeah, all. Oh, if I had a light bulb, if I just screwed it into one of these branches, I would light up a better effing wood. He bends over a small hole in the mud and continues digging. Maybe this is where you're hiding, maybe this is the way. The doctor is lost in his thoughts, his cigarette sticks out of his mud-covered mouth using what remains of his shoe. He draws lines on the ground and then seems to intersect in completely random places. I'm waiting. He doesn't stop drawing, he moves away a bit and makes a wide arc with his heel. Four. Doctor flicks his cigarette into the dirt, stomps, stomps on it and drags it along the ground, cutting the last straight line. You. Drawing was never my forte. Can you hear the trees sing? They're calling us, they're showing us the way. They're showing us the way at the same block in it. I can't understand it. He kicks a stone. Are they trying to tell us something? Are they putting us to the test? I don't know. <coughs> maybe, maybe I'll still and don't know what to do. He shakes his head. Dispiritedly. Dispirited and goes silent. After a long pause, he turns towards me. His glasses are so dirty, I barely see the eyes hiding underneath. I see you haven't regained your speech. You need to find another doctor. I haven't slept in a wink in many days. I don't think this is good for me. I hear this voice all the time. Can you hear it? A heavenly voice. No. Are you, are you the one running from my apartment? Doctor stares right into my eyes, mud drips from his face. He hasn't blinked in over a minute. No, you don't. Why would you? You don't know where. He steps. He's, he steps towards me and lowers his voice. I'm a bit fed up with her. A bit. A little. A tiny bit. She must know I'm heading her way. I'm doing everything I can. I don't eat. I don't sleep. I search under the rock, under the, I think, bush. She must understand that she must give me some time, some little time off. Tell her this, will you? Oh, Doctor, you're going a bit cuckoo, my friend. Ooh, a long barrel. Nice. What a find. I made the double barrel shotgun. We've run more of those. Max blood.
my shovel's almost done for. Oh, why is that so loud? What the hell? I know it's like, oh, after this. Socks. Never using the knife. Needs to get some of most of the good stuff. Okay. on my body, aren't I? See some fish. So, so I'm at the junkyard, yeah. So I'll go this way, and my body should be this way somewhere. There it is. I know where I found those two critters. They weren't too far. They're from hide up. No oh, more trash to dig. Okay, let's do it. Tubal magazine and some weapon parts.
So little fish in his arm. I'll remember that when I find a use for fish, I guess. Don't need mushrooms anymore, I'm already highest level and I don't benefit from picking those up. Ooh, are you? Yeah. What's going on? Oh. Oh, what? It's an environment cause a slow pulse and they're surprisingly hard and durable. Oh, tape, I need tape. Look at the fish. No, that's got cool. Find a different way inside. There's another shovel though. Oh, um, guess I'll drop the wire. Two shovels. Break it open. That is no longer usable. Talk to the snail. Hey. The snail switches its swimming slow and slow. He moves his jaw with great effort. It looks like it's about to fall off. His eyes sag from their sockets. He dangles from side to side, trying to keep keep me in their sight. Why, why are you disturbing my forced rest? His right eye raised. With, his right eye raised with great effort and wobbles your fist. What happened to you? The snail's jaw falls so low it almost detaches itself from the rest of the body. You scared me. You very resemble a human. You should cover yourself. Suddenly I feel a subtle shiver beneath my feet. The snail's body livens up. Quiet. Do you hear that voice? The snail tucks his head inside his shell. She calls to me. Can you hear it? The snail falls silent for a longer moment. The inside of the shell is almost completely silent. She's calling me and I'm here. Trapped. Bound. The snail's body suddenly leans forward. The wooden construction of the couch creaks under the huge book. I barely keep my balance. Cut me loose, please. I need to get out of here. If you release me, I will leave. Come back tomorrow and I won't be here anymore. You can live in my home. You'll like it. You just need to cut me loose. This now falls out. His enormous head slowly drops to the sh drops to the shed. Yeah, and gleaming drops of mucus appear on the slimy skin. You need to understand my predicament. I'm unable to do anything. I'm unable to do anything by myself. My legs are numb from lying here. I can't feel my arms at all. I admit, lying in this song gives me this strange pleasure, but it's time for me to go. Understand, I have to. You're going there too. Try to. Everyone is going there. It's the road home after all. It was yesterday or a few days ago, maybe a year. I woke up in front of the house I thought I was dreaming. I took a step and fell down. I fell straight on the roof. How did this happen? Got it. You're so ugly. I feel like puking. You barely resemble a human being. Ouch. It's a bit mean. Once I was a beautiful clearing, now everything's covered in water and I've lost my gum boots. Do you have any gum boots on you?
I'm guessing Mr. Snowboy is covering the way in. If I come back tomorrow, he won't be here, apparently. For sure, that's what he said. I kind of want to get in that house. There's probably some good loot. Help me get through the day. Please don't. I don't have anything to defend myself with right now. Rocket wreckage. Oh, it's this guy. He did build a rocket. What a guy. Um, the wire's nice. Another long barrel. And, uh, and then players, so I need those to be my workbench again. Should I drop for it? I guess. You didn't make it. So, I'd have that over shovel in my inventory. Oh, God, there's so much good stuff to sell here. How do I get out? That's the main thing right now, I just need to get out. Go back to base before night time. The pear tree, you didn't make it. So, your rocket got you here, but you died. Oh, I kind of feel guilty now because I helped him build that rocket and he got himself killed. The hell is this? Can you start? Can you start me? I saw the bear drop, I'm not going for it though. That one I will. It's right next to me. Oh, never mind. Don't know him. Where the shiny stones take me? The shiny stones leading me back to my hideout. Okay.
Now we're going to venture. If I do that, yeah. Do I have enough white to upgrade? Oh, it's tech scrap. Got you. I need some more pliers. Oh, I can make the axe. Two scape, two tape, and one weapon part. My knife's now enough broken, so I can drop that. A shovel. Can I all get the shovel? Need my axe. Greatly increased weapon durability. Yep. And inflict more damage. Nice. Make a few bandages worth them. Yeah. Make a molly. So I've got three of them on me. Uh, got an axe, boy. Do I need a better? Do I? I'm pretty sure I do. For the crafted better, or did I drop them both? Drop them both. Good damn it. I don't think I need I'll go with one. Let's go. I'm in. Pure track didn't make it. Uh, I need to go back to the junkyard. Pure track's rocket had a lot of stuff I could sell. I've pretty much become rich in this area. I'm sure there's a way you could make nighttime go faster, like you could like lie down on the floor. And you can lie down and pass the bits better since nothing's around your base. Like there's nothing bad around your base. After this, after this, after I've survived the night here, 
I will run back to the junkyard. I won't record running back to the junkyard. If you've seen the junkyard, you don't want to see that area again. I'll run back to the junkyard if I remember where to go, pick up all the stuff I wanted. That. Oh, it's you. Yeah, one of those attacked me. Uh... I'd have a bad trap there now. I probably use a lot of scrap upgrading my stuff. got full greater dogs which is I'm happy damage and durability increase I'll do the same with the shovel so I can dig more and I get enough scrap to I'm trying my best not to swear in these videos. I don't know if I've swore this one, but I don't know. There's another centipede. Generate my health. It does not. Or if it does, it is very slow. Thirty-two. 